Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again, and today we are here for my benefit sale haul video. Before we start this video, I just wanted to say that all the ad revenue from my videos from now up until June 24th of 2023 will go towards purchasing dolls from the American Girl Benefit Sale to donate to a local children's hospital. If you want more information on this, go ahead and click the video up in the iCard. But please remember to watch this video all the way through. Thank you. So if you guys don't know, the Benefit Sale is an annual event that I attend each year. It is hosted by the Madison Children's Museum up in Wisconsin, and they get the overstocked, returned, or damaged goods sent to them from American Girl, and they mark them down for a discounted price and sell them to the general public. So I have been attending the Benefit Sale for many years now. If you guys wanna go back and watch any of my old Benefit Sale haul videos or vlogs, I will leave those linked up in the iCard. But today we are going to be opening up everything that I got from the American Girl Benefit Sale in 2022. So as you can see, there are a lot of items in front of us, including multiple dolls. So let's go ahead and get started. So like with all of my unboxing videos, I always start with the smaller items like the outfits, and then we work our way up and end with opening up the bigger items. So as you can see, we have a ton of outfits to open up, and these aren't even all of the options that they had available at the benefit sale. If you guys are interested in seeing the other items that they had available, go check out my 2022 American Girl benefit sale vlog video, which will also be linked in the iCard right now. So let's go ahead and start opening them. So the first item that we're going to open up is one that really surprised me. It is the Josefina Montoya Special Edition 2016 Mini Doll. In 2016, American Girl came out with Special Edition Mini Dolls for their anniversary, and this is one of them. I didn't end up getting any of the Mini Dolls when they came out, and the benefit sale hasn't carried these in years, so I was very shocked to see this there, and I knew that I had to pick it up while it was still there. So here's everything that came in the set. First, we have the mini doll, and she is wearing her holiday outfit. You can see her hair is put in these gorgeous little braids, and honestly, just the detail in these mini dolls always impresses me. You can tell, like here, this skirt is separate from the underdress. Next, we have the little Be Forever Josefina book, and this actually has all the writing from the story. And then finally, it comes with this little display stand, so you can display the doll like this. The next item is another item that I was actually really shocked to see at the benefit sale. This is Julie's meat outfit. So this is the Be Forever version of Julie's meat outfit. And if you guys didn't know, when they released the Be Forever dolls, they sold their meat outfits separately. Like if you bought the new doll, you would still get the doll with the meat outfit. But say you had a pre Be Forever Julie doll, you could buy just her brand new meat outfit separately. So that way you didn't have to buy a whole new doll to get the meat outfit. This was something that interested me back in the day, but I didn't have enough money to buy all of the new meat outfits for the dolls at the time. So up first, it comes with this pair of plain purple underwear. Next, it comes with these pair of sandals. They are like foam at the bottom, and there's a little piece of elastic to go around the doll's heel. This part actually has Velcro to help you get it on easier as well, and the little belt buckle is fake. The next item is the bell bottom pants, and you can tell that they are blue, and the sides have these two stripes of really cute floral flowers with yellow, pink, and blue colors. There is a little bit of Velcro in the front, and then there is elastic at the back as well. And then it comes with this peace sign tank top, and there's just a little bit of fuzzies on there, but the tank top has a peace sign made out of flowers, and the back has Velcro going all the way down. And then finally, there is the yellow vest, and this is like a crochet vest that is really neon yellow. Up next, I figured I would get something for the upcoming Halloween season, and that is the Mod Monster costume. And it says it's originally $34, but I did not pay $34. Honestly, I can't remember what I paid for all of these items, but a lot of them are severely reduced, so just keep that in mind. 
So the first item in this set is the little treat bag and it is a Frankenstein treat bag that can actually hold a couple of treats. Next we have the dress and the dress is all white with a green glittery strap across the middle. There is like netting for the arms and then in the corner here there is a sparkly spider web with a sparkly spider on it as well. The back of the dress just has Velcro going halfway down. Next, it comes with these pair of black boots and the boots are made of like a fake leather material and there are little elastics for the little ties for the laces and then there is some neon green stitching detailing on it as well. And then there's also this cute little choker necklace that has some elastic to stretch around your doll's neck and the little clasp at the back. And then finally we have the foam wig. It kind of just like pops up and surprisingly there is like no strap to keep it on your doll's head. So you just kind of have to like stick it on there and hope that it stays on. Sticking with the Truly Me accessories, next we have the American Girl Take the Cake birthday outfit. So here is everything that comes in this outfit, which is actually a lot more than I thought it would be. So first, let's take a look at the pamphlet. It says, strike a pose, create a photo booth, backdrop in minutes. And then it gives you a little bit of different ways to make some photo booth backgrounds. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at this cupcake. It is removable from there, which I wasn't expecting. So it has a blue glittery base with a little handle. And then the top is all pink with a hot pink swirl as well. The next item in this set is this cute little heart bracelet. I love little details like bracelets and necklaces in American Girl sets. I think it just makes the outfit seem so much better. And then it comes with this happy birthday sash and the sash is purple and it has happy birthday written on it. And then there is Velcro down here at the bottom so that way you can get it on and off your dolls. Next, it comes with this headband that is purple and it has a silver present on top with purple ribbon and purple tulle. The next item is this pair of really sparkly and honestly kind of loud shoes. Like they crinkle and make this really like loud noise. Um, but they are kind of like iridescent, rainbow colored. I don't really know how to describe it, but they have purple elastic laces on both of them. And then finally, the last item is of course the dress. So the dress is covered in tons of sequins. And as you can see, it is very, very sparkly. And there is elastic at the back of the dress as well. Also with that outfit, I got the headband for myself. So this headband and the outfit came as a part of a set and it is the birthday bash set that they offered, which included the cafe as well as the take the cake cart. So this is the exact same headband as the one for the dolls, except it is human sized. So the next item that we're going to go ahead and open up is Joss's cheer competition outfit. So first we have this really, really sparkly purple bow. It is super cute. It has like purple and pink sparkles in it and it has a pink hair elastic at the back. Next, it comes with these pair of white shoes and they have little white elastic laces and on the back it says Infinity, which is one of the cheer brands. Next, we have a pair of cheer shorts and they are just plain white shorts. And then finally, we have the cheer dress and it is white and pink and kind of like an orange color. It says Shine Athletics, which is where Josh cheers. And then it has this holographic pink detailing with some orange stripes on it and rhinestones. And there's these cute little cutouts here at the front. And then the bottom of it is pink as well with the orange and the rhinestones. Then there is Velcro going down the back as well. The other outfit I got for Joss is her Shine Bright pajamas. So here is everything that comes included. First, we have this pair of pink slippers. They are really squishy and they have a little band across the top with a bow with little pom-poms and then a piece of elastic to get it around your doll's ankles so that way they stay on. Next, it comes with this very loud pair of leggings. 
that has kind of like chevron pattern on it with multiple different colors and they are super stretchy. And then finally it comes with this top that says shine bright and these sleeves on this top are super soft. The next item I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce but it is Leah's Baha'i outfit. So let's go ahead and open it up. So here is everything that comes in this outfit. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the sandals. So these are the sandals. They have yellow, green, and like a peach color to them. And the backs of them are yellow. There's some Velcro to help you get it on your dolls. And this is not elastic or anything like that. You just kind of have to like slide your doll's foot in there. Next, it comes with this really simple pair of blue jeans that just has Velcro in the front, and the pockets are real on these jeans, which is always a nice touch. And then finally, it comes with this long sleeve shirt, and it's tie-dye from a yellow to a more peach color, and it looks more pink on the screen here, but in person, it's more of like a light peach color and it has this really beautiful design on the shirt as well. And then there's Velcro going all the way down the back of the shirt too. Next, let's go ahead and open up Leah's celebration outfit. So here's everything that comes in this set. First, we have this pair of gold sandals and they are gold with like this really pretty braid detailing at the bottom and a little butterfly too. There is Velcro at the back of them to help you get it on your dolls too. Next, I believe that this is a headband because it has elastic at the back of it, but it just has these really pretty beads on them to match with the dress. And then finally, we have the dress which has this really beautiful embroidered detailing all over it. And the belt on the dress is not removable. It is sewn into the back with the Velcro, which goes halfway down the dress. And then at the bottom, we have multiple different layers of the dress, all of which have these really beautiful embroidered detailing on it to just make the dress look super full and beautiful. The next outfit we are going to open up is Leah's mix and match swim set. So here's everything that comes in this set. What is so cool about this set is that you can mix and match this to be however you want it to look. So first it comes with this really cute headband and I'm not exactly sure what kind of pattern you would call this, but it does have elastic at it to help you get it on your dolls and this really pretty bow too. Next we have this more plain pair of briefs and they are just neon green with pink stripe at the top. The other pair of swim briefs we have is this one. It's mostly pink except for the sides which have this really pretty pattern on it that matches both of the tops. So the first top is this tankini top and it is really cute. It has like this really cute fringe that matches the one swim trunks and the green which matches the other swim trunks and of course the pink which matches both swim trunks and there is some velcro at the back to help you get it on your dolls. And then finally is the other swim top and this one is also super cute. It has that pattern once again as well as the pink and the green and then there is of course velcro down the back of it to help you get it on your doll. Next, let's go ahead and open up Leah's Rainforest Hike Outfit. So here is everything that this outfit comes with. First, let's go ahead and take a look at this really cute watch. So this is the watch. It is pink and it's made out of plastic and it has a cute little green buckle to close the watch with. Next, we have this really cute yellow headband that is elastic and has a cute little bow tied on it. And then it comes with this pair of hiking boots that are brown, pink, and green. And then we have this super cute white t-shirt with a really pretty butterfly on it. And this has Velcro going down the back of it. And finally, the last item is this pair of like capri pants that are a brownish gray color with some pockets up here at the top and a green belt that actually unbuckles. And then there is some Velcro here too, so that way you can get it on and off the dolls. The back of it has Leah's little logo on it too. And then the final item from Leah's collection that we're going to open up is Leah's Rainforest Hike Accessories. So here's everything that comes in this set. 
First we have this little pamphlet and it says Butterflies of the Amazon. And inside it has various different butterflies that are native to South America. Next we have this super cute pair of binoculars that actually moves so that way you can look in it. And as you can see, you can actually see through the binoculars. There are also these little handles so that way your dolls can hold on to it. Next we have this little thing of bug spray and it does not actually spray or do anything. It's just for show, but it is super cute. Now we have these two tropical fruit snacks. There is an acai and a mango one. And I honestly feel like these are really cute, but they're probably a little bit too big, especially when you compare it to the size of the bug spray. Either these are super big fruit snack bars, or this is a really miniature size of bug spray for your dolls. Next, we have this adorable backpack and it has a cute little zipper up here at the front so that way you can store some items in it. And then it has this really cute fake little water bottle thing that is like you're supposed to have the water inside this part of there, but it's not actually like really holding water. It's just for show, but it is super cute. And then there is this belt buckle here too, so that way it can wrap around your doll's waist and it does stretch too, so that way it makes it easier to get around your doll. And then the final item is this walking stick and it is just painted with some cute little designs on it. And if you see, it's not actually completely straight. It's like a little bit of zigzaggy. And then up at the top here, there is a little bit for your doll to be able to actually hold the handle part of the stick. So now let's go ahead and open up the four dolls that I got from the benefit sale. So this is your final chance to guess down in the comments below which four dolls I ended up getting. So the first doll that I ended up getting was Truly Me number 57. And this is one of the dolls that I ended up wanting to get because if you guys didn't know, they actually redesigned this doll in I think it was 2020 and I really wanted the original version of this doll before they redesigned her, but I also do want the redesigned one too. I just figured that there's, it's harder to find the original one now, so I wanted to get her before it was impossible to get. So I got her from the benefit sale. And she did come with the book, Friends Making Them and Keeping Them, and honestly, looking at her, I don't think she has been taken out of the box at all. She still is strapped in down here at her legs and her arm and her neck as well. So let's go ahead and get her unboxed. So here she is, and I know it's really hard to tell because it is so dark right now since I'm recording this at night, but she is so beautiful. I will definitely try to get more pictures or videos of her when it is lighter outside just because you guys really can't see how beautiful she is, but she is, like I said, the older version, so she has the cute little side bang going on and the cute little brown bob and she is actually brand new in box. One of the things that is different about dolls from the benefit sale is that usually they come with an X on their butt. And even if for some reason they are new in box, usually they cut them out so that they can put an X on her butt. But I don't know if they just forgot, but she does not have an X anywhere on her butt. So I literally just got a brand new doll that was never touched by anybody else for a fraction of the price, which is just absolutely crazy. So the next doll that I'm going to open up is another retired doll, and it is Truly Me number 40. For some reason, the side of her box was taped, so that way you can't take the lid off, which is interesting. So she is once again another doll that is still strapped in the box completely. In the past from the benefit sale, a lot of the dolls that I've gotten have just been sitting in the box. So this is really strange. So here she is out of the box and she is so gorgeous. She has the just face mold and black hair with brown eyes. Once again, like I said, I know it's kind of hard to tell right now. I will try to get better video and photos in the morning. But what is interesting is her jacket has like these two, 
I don't even know what that is. I don't know if that's like why she was defective or something, or if it is this other reason, which um, is once again, something I was not expecting. I did check to see if she has an X on her butt right now. And when I went to go flip her over to check, I noticed that she has perma panties. So if you guys don't know what perma panties are, it is kind of a thing that American Girl tried out back, I wanna say in 2018, 2017, where some of the dolls, I think it was all of the Truly Me's and then Z Yang, Tenny, and maybe Gabriella or Luciana, I don't even know, came with perma panties. And I think it was also a couple historical dolls too. But basically these panties are not able to come off the doll. It is sewn into the doll's body. So the cloth for the body skin ends right here. And now this is just pink cloth that is actually just their body cloth. And then they have the little stitching on there that says American Girl going across it as well. So these are non-removable. They're permanent panties, which is why they're called perma panties. But once again, what I found interesting is she does not have an X on her butt. So this is actually the third doll that I will have with perma panties. The first doll I got was Zi Yang and I bought her when she came out and then I sent her to the doll hospital to get rid of the perma panties. The second one is my Truly Me number 58 doll, Aaliyah, who I got from the benefit sale a couple years ago and I knew that she had perma panties and now this is the third one and I honestly don't mind the Pernama panties either way. It's just funny because when you do buy from the benefit sale online, you never know what you're gonna get. So now the third doll that I got is Truly Me number 47. And if you guys didn't know, two years ago now when I bought from the benefit sale online and they had the mystery grab bag set, I got Truly Me number 47 in that mystery grab bag set. But my whole plan was to give away whichever doll came in that mystery grab bag set to one of you guys that was subscribed. And I did give her away, but I absolutely loved Truly Me number 47. And when I found out that she was retired, I was so devastated because I really wanted to get her. So I saw her at the benefit sale again and I'm, I was like, I'm not going to pass her up. So now I have my own Truly Me number 47. She once again came with the book as well. And you can see that this Truly Me number 47 doll is not strapped in really well. So I'm assuming that she's probably going to have an X on her butt, which is fine, like I said. She also came with the little caring for your doll with straight hair pamphlet too. So here she is all out of the box and she is just as gorgeous as I remembered her from last time. She has this really pretty black brown hair that is super straight and she has the Sonali face mold and she's just a really gorgeous doll. And let's see if she has an X on her butt. So yes, she does have an X on her butt. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about the X's on the butt earlier, but this is probably the biggest X I've seen on a benefit sale doll. Usually they try to make the X as small as they possibly can, just that way it doesn't interfere with play. But this is probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. And I, I didn't really explain why they put the X on there. The reason why is so that way you can't buy this doll from the benefit sale and then try to return it to American Girl for full price or try to get free replacement parts for it being defective or anything like that from the doll hospital. It just lets American Girl know that this is a doll that was from the benefit sale. So the final doll that I have to open up today is Truly Me number 88. And this was a part of the Birthday Bash bundle set. So this included the doll, the American Girl Cafe, the outfit that we opened earlier, the headband, and the Take the Cake cart too. So let's go ahead and open her up. She also comes with the Friends Making Them and Keeping Them book too. She was also entirely strapped in and I had to cut every single one of these straps. So here she is. She has the newer meat outfit with the pink jacket and the star dress with the pink shoes. And she has the pink and blue cotton candy hair 
which is super cute. Let's go ahead and see if she has an X on her butt, which she does not have an X on her butt either, which is really shocking because I thought that every single Benefit Sale doll had to have an X on their butt, but three out of the four dolls that I got this year did not have an X. All right, so it has actually been a couple of days later since I filmed those last clips, but I did wanna show you guys how gorgeous they look during the daytime. So from left to right, we have Truly Me number 47, number 88, number 57, and number 40. I am still so blown away that these three dolls right here were basically brand new and had no X's on their butt. Only number 47 had an X and 40 was the one with the perma panties. I did notice as well, you can kind of tell that 57 here actually has the older bad eyes. If you guys don't know what the bad eyes are, um, there was a period of time where American Girl changed out the eyes of the dolls. A lot of the eyes in those dolls, the whites of the eyes are super duper white. They have more of a downward looking gaze, no matter how you position them to be. And then as well, I just wanted to show you guys how cute their hair looks from the back. I was really shocked to see in the daytime that number 88's hair not only has the pink and blue streaks in there, but there's actually some really light pastel purple streaks to kind of blend the pink and blue together. And I think that's actually a really nice touch that I never noticed before. As for the other dolls, number 47 has pretty straight hair that is layered in the front. Number 57 has this really cute bob with these side bangs that I showed you. They're really hard to see actually on the doll, so it almost is like she doesn't even have them. And then number 40 just has a straight, kind of medium length cut hair style. So you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to name these dolls. And I have names for some of them, but not for all of them yet. So I don't have a name picked out for number 47. I keep on trying to come up with names, but I can't find one that I think sticks for her. Number 88, I'm deciding to name her Candace. And the reason why I chose the name Candace is because obviously everyone says her hair looks like cotton candy, and I didn't really want to name her Candy. So her name's gonna be Candace, and then her nickname will be Candy. For 57, I keep on going back and forth between a couple of different names. One of the names I'm going back and forth between is Piper. The other one is Brooklyn. And then finally, number 40, I think I'm going to name her Renee after one of my best friends who she actually looks like. So definitely leave your name suggestions down below for number 47. And then for number 57, tell me down in the comments below whether you like the name Piper or Brooklyn better for her. So now let's go ahead and open up the American Girl Take the Cake birthday cart set. This once again came in that birthday bash set with Truly Me number 88, the American Girl Cafe, the Take the Cake outfit, and the hair accessory for girls as well. So unboxing this set, I was really shocked at how cute all of these items are. I don't think I've really seen this set that close up in person, but I'm actually pretty blown away by it all. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the little pamphlet. I believe that this is the same pamphlet as the um, one that came in the outfit. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the cart. The cart is actually really cute. Um, it's made out of plastic. There is pink, white, and gold plastic. And then the wheels down here actually like spin around and they actually move and they have rubber on the bottom of them so that way they don't scratch up your floor at all, which is actually really nice. As you can see, the cart can roll back and forth pretty easily on its own and it can spin around in a circle too. Next, it comes with this tray. It is a hot pink, clear plastic, like acrylic type of tray, and the tray just goes right on top of the cart. 
so that way you can put stuff on top. The next item is this cake tray platform. It is a light yellow color and it's made out of plastic. And this just goes ahead and sets right on top. And then it comes with the cake and the cake has two slices taken out of it that we'll take a look at in a second. But you can see that it is a rainbow tear cake with some fake sprinkles on top. And then there is a little hole for the happy birthday sign. On the side of it, you can see that there is a speaker. And that's because on the bottom, if you pull this little tab out and then you put it on, take the little happy birthday topper and stick it in there. it plays happy birthday and it doesn't do it every time it only does it if you push the topper all the way down while we're at it we can take a look at the two cake slices that come with it they are both identical and they just have the cake cut out and they go ahead and slot right in to the cake so that way it can be a finished cake next the set comes with two identical plates and the plates are just white with a pink border around them and they are made out of plastic. To help serve the cake, it comes with a little cake spatula and this is made out of metal. It's actually really cute. It has this really pretty detail on the handle and this just allows you to help serve the cake easier. And of course, you're going to need something to eat the cake with, so the set comes with two metal forks as well. And then a really cute little detail that I wasn't expecting were these two happy birthday cups. They are both just plastic and they say happy birthday on it. It has some like polka dots and a rainbow and it says American Girl. The back of it just has more of the polka dots and they are empty so that way you can put whatever you want inside of there. Next, the set also comes with two napkins and these napkins come already folded up but they can be unfolded and they just have that same polka dot pattern as the cups and they are made out of a cloth material so that way they won't rip. The next item that comes in this set are these two noise makers. They are identical except one is pink and one is blue. They don't actually make noise which is kind of a bummer but they have a gold star and a gold tip and they are hollow but they don't actually allow you to blow through them which like I said is kind of a shame. They are made out of plastic as well. The next item might be one of my favorite items in the set and it is a party hat. I was expecting these to be made out of paper because most party hats are made out of paper, but they're actually made out of plastic, which is honestly a plus. So that way they don't get bent, ripped or broken as easily. They have a cute little pom pom at the top and that same polka dot pattern as the napkins in the cup. And then they have a nice piece of elastic so that way it makes it easier to get it on your doll's head. And the set does come with two of them. And then the final item that does come in this set is this really cute balloon. It is all made out of hard plastic and it's made to look like it is actually inflated and see-through. There is a cupcake with a candle and sprinkles on the front. And then there is a handle down here at the bottom so that way your dolls can hold the balloon if they want. So this is everything that comes in this set. I was honestly kind of blown away. I wasn't expecting it to be this cute. Like I said, I've never really taken a look at this set in person in too much detail, but I was pretty much blown away. There are the three shelves on this, so that way you can store even more items if you want, which is really nice to see that they offered that. So now it's time to open up the last item of the day, which is the Day at the AG Cafe set. This is probably the item that I am the most excited to open up. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the cafe set all set up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in closer detail. So starting off with the back side, it says American Girl Cafe over there. And then on this side, it says Cafe American Girl with a little section to put the menus. And I already put the menus over there. So this part right here is made out of plastic 
but then the walls of the set are actually made out of wood. If you spin it back around, the inside of the set has the booth for where your dolls will be sitting. Like I said, this is all wood. And then on the bench, there is a little bit of padding and the fabric kind of has like a clear coat over it that is similar to how it's like at the actual American Girl Cafe. And then down at the bottom here, this um, black part is plastic. So then here is the table. The table itself is made out of wood and metal with the table being wood and the stand for the table being made out of metal. This is pink. I kind of wish that it would have come with a white tablecloth like they actually have at the American Girl Cafe, but it's definitely something that I could just make and put on there myself. So I put all the details onto the table. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. First up on the table, we have this little box. And if you've ever been to the American Girl Cafe, you know exactly what this box is for. There is the cute little American Girl stars on it. And then the bottom just has the copyright information. But this box actually opens up and inside of it, so there's like American Girl trivia, there's fun and games, and then there's this or that. And what's so cool is that when you actually go to the American Girl Cafe in person, they have this little box on the table with these cards. And on the back, they're basically just things for you to talk about with the people at your table. So like this one is trivia saying, what civil rights march does Melody attend? And then all the other ones are just other types of boredom things that you can talk about while you're at the table. Up next, we have these two pink plates. The plates are just plastic and they are hot pink. Then one of my favorite little details in this set are the napkins with the forks and the little napkin holders. Once again, if you've been to the American Girl Cafe, you know exactly why this is so cute. They have these little hair tie things at the AG cafes that hold together the napkins and they recreated them for the doll sized version and it does come off so that way you can undo the napkin and have the fork the napkin and the cute little hair tie and then the next item is this glass of lemonade and it almost looks see-through or clear on camera but in person there is a very slight pink tint you can kind of see down there um, it just looks like it's see-through because the table's pink but over to the side, you can kind of see that it is slightly light pink with a little yellow lemon wedge inside of it. And then next, another American Girl Cafe staple. We have the cute little watering pot with the little flowers inside of them. Once again, if you've been to an American Girl Cafe, you would definitely recognize this sitting on your table. They have the cute little fake flowers and the little watering can and now your dolls have it too. So next we have uh, one of the menus. They have this one that has the main courses, the desserts, and then on the other side, it has the drinks and the starters. And I love how it is actually the real menu. One of my favorite meals there was the picnic meal, which came with little miniature sized hot dogs, cheeseburgers, french fries, carrots, and ranch and then another super cute detail of this set is the mini mini doll sized um, cup with the saucer so one of the cool things about going to the american girl cafe is that when you bring your american girl doll they give you a chair for your doll and then a cup and a plate so once again they give you for your doll's mini doll a little tiny cup and a plate and it is so cool because this little cup is actually a miniature version of the ones that your dolls would get when you bring them to the cafe. Same goes for this plate. And then speaking of the mini doll, we have the mini doll right here. So this mini doll is a miniature version of Truly Me number 88 wearing the take the cake outfit. 
So she has her pink and blue curly hair and the super cute dress with these sparkly shoes as well. And so that way your mini doll can sit. They also included a chair for the mini doll as well. This is once again, a miniature version of the chairs that they offer when you bring your full-sized American Girl doll to the Real American Girl Cafe. It says AG at the back of it. And then the chair just slides onto the table like that. So that way your dolls can sit next to you while you are eating your lunch or dinner. And then the final two items that come in this set are two more menus. We have, they are both identical and they say the American Girl Cafe. And inside it once again has all of the different options to eat. One more thing I actually forgot to show you guys is this adorable little apron. It says American Girl on it. There's some Velcro up here at the top to get it around your doll's neck. And then down at the bottom here, there's a pocket and these cute little frills. These are once again identical to the aprons that the staff wears at the AG Cafe. I just really love the cute little attention to detail. And then also while we are here, let's go ahead and take a look at the cute little pamphlet that comes with it. It says, welcome to the American Girl Cafe. And then inside it has a photo of the cafe all put together. And it has this really cute little story about the first American Girl store in Chicago. So if you guys are interested in reading this, go ahead and pause the video right now to read it. So here are all of the dolls that I got all set up at the American Girl Cafe set with the cute little take the cake part and some of the new outfits that I got. I really think that this set looks so cute and it's probably my favorite thing that I got from the benefit sale this year. So I guess that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. And be sure to comment down below if you got anything from the benefit sale. And also comment down below name suggestions for Truly Me number 47 and which name you like better for Truly Me number 57. And finally, be sure to follow me over on my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see more behind the scenes in my videos as well as some photos of my dolls. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.